was the best of the times. It was the worst of times. I think this famous quote of Charles Dickens is a very precise one to describe my story. It was the time of the decision. A decision that I had to take last year, in November 2017, when the World Chess Federation announced it would hold the World Chess Championships in Saudi Arabia. At that time, I was a reigning world champion in two categories, in Rapid and Blitz. And I was looking forward to defending my titles when the news about the venue came. Everybody was surprised, if not to say shocked. Saudi Arabia? World Championships in Saudi Arabia? In the country where even a foreign woman has to wear a buyer, to cover her head, and to be accompanied by a man whenever she goes outside? But the organizers knew how to sweeten the pill. As the well-known story goes, what you can't buy for money, you can buy it for big money. And if you can't buy something for big money, you can still buy it for a very big money. And so, the price fund was seriously increased. Well, actually increased isn't even a proper description in this situation. The organizers in Saudi Arabia made the prize fund five times bigger than in the previous championships, while the first prize was eight times higher. So, let's imagine. Uh, if I go to Saudi Arabia and win the championships, I not only retain my titles, but also win something like $160,000 in just five days. A huge amount indeed. The titles were very important for me, and the prizes were high. But seeing me here today, you will probably have realized I made the decision not to go there. So, the question is why? Why did the girl from Ukraine, the country that cannot really be considered as one of the pillars of gender equality, took such a difficult and costly decision? And the answer is simple. First of all, it's a question of dignity and self-respect. I simply felt it was the right thing to do. I thought it was wrong to go, and by that, to support the society that has such discriminating policies towards women. And it wasn't just a spontaneous, uninformed decision. Once, I had an experience playing the World Championship in Iran. I followed the rules of the country, but despite of having a very good result, finishing second at that World Championship, I was still quite depressed, and I realized how bad I felt about that. Therefore, the decision to skip the World Championships in Saudi Arabia didn't cost me sleepless nights and long arguments with myself. I knew I had to stand for the principles I believe in. And actually, I wasn't alone. I took the stance together with my younger sister Maria, who is also one of the very top players in the world and a former world champion. Aside this story, we are the only sisters in the history of chess who have ever both managed to win world champion titles. And so, at that time, we felt the same. We didn't go to Saudi Arabia. And yes, I lost my titles. Was it a clever move? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Was it a wise move? Yes, I am certain. I felt and I still feel very good about my decision. In the long run, it's only your inner feelings that are really the most important. I have been playing chess since I was two. Yeah, since I was two years old. At least that is what the family legend suggests. 
And it must be true, as I remember myself, at the age of three, playing proper chess games with my mother and my father, who are chess players themselves and professional chess coaches. So, I have been in the chess world for nearly my entire life. I became a grandmaster, and I won three women's world champion titles, and also three European champion titles. Speaking about gender equality, well, I'm not sure we will ever see it. But women definitely deserve much more respect. And we shouldn't accept the situations where we are treated as second-class citizens in any country and in any place in the world. Words are just words. And they will remain being just words as long as you are not ready to sacrifice something that is really meaningful to you. I did, and I don't regret. Of course, there was a lot of public attention immediately after the story appeared on the news. My Facebook post, where I announced that I wouldn't go to Saudi Arabia, became the most popular Facebook post written by any Ukrainian and by any chess player ever. It was liked and shared more than 250,000 times. And it proved people do care. I appeared on CNN, BBC channels, and many others. I gave lots of interviews to major newspapers and magazines from all over the world. I have done something to highlight the problem. And I hope I have inspired some people, not necessarily women, to be honest with themselves, to do what they believe in, and to take a stand even if it might be costly. Dream big, work hard, achieve high results, and in any case, respect the other people around you. Still, I wouldn't say that my stand has influenced the minds of millions. No, of course not. But I remember well, success isn't final. Failure isn't fatal. It's the card to continue that counts, and I will continue. To master my chess, in order to remain a top player and hopefully win new titles, to promote chess, and to display my principles as a top player. Last month, I became the European Blitz champion, and I am looking forward to new challenges, over and outside the chessboard. Thank you.